and let's say f of x is equal to a square root. In this case, I can use the command backslash sqrt, and then the expression I want to be square rooted, such as just a term x, I pass as an argument to this command. And if I build this, you'll see that we get f of x is equal to the square root of x in our output. If I write a different expression here, such as a fraction, and here I'll write the fraction of x over 1 plus x, and rebuild our output, you'll notice that LaTeX will adjust the size of this square root so that it fits the expression. As well as writing square roots, it's also possible to write functions with integrals. So suppose we write some other function, f of x is equal to the integral, and here I can use the command backslash int to write the integral symbol, and let's say it's between the limits of x is equal to a and b. And then let's say our function is just a term x. Then I'll complete this with the d of x. So if we build this, you can see we get our equation. But there's a couple of things we could do to improve this. So the first thing I can do is instead of using the underscore and the caret by themselves, if I proceed this, these terms here with the command limits and rebuild our output, you'll see this will actually move those expressions x is equal to a and b to directly below and above the integral symbol. Another thing I might do here is just add a little bit of space between the x and the dx. And I can do that in our LaTeX code with the command backslash comma to add a thin space. And as a result, we get a thin space between x and d of x. It is also possible to write functions which are limits. So suppose we write the function f of x is equal to the limit. And here I can use the command backslash lim followed again by the command limits. And let's say I set a limit of x tends towards infinity. And infinity I can write with the backslash inf d command. And let's say I'm getting the limit of the fraction 1 over 1 plus x. And if I build this, you can see we get our next equation, f of x is equal to the limit of x tends towards infinity of 1 over 1 plus x. As well as writing limits with the lin command, similarly we can write logs with the log command. For instance, if I write the function f of x is equal to log of x, I can use the command log and then just enclose our log expression within two regular braces. So here will just be log of x. And if I rebuild this, you can see we get the function log of x. And here LaTeX makes sure to print the word log in non-italic text because only variables such as x should be printed in italic, whereas functions such as log or lim should be in non-italic.